All right, so I want to start working on the periodic table and just defining some of the parts of the periodic table. And if you could take your periodic table out and include all of these features that I'm going to be talking about in your periodic table itself, either by coloring these parts in and um, by labeling them. So to start off with, um, we're going to talk about how to find different places uh, or different elements on the periodic table, and I'm going to work with a black pen. So to start off with, one of the issues is, is perhaps you would like to um, be able to identify sulfur. And sulfur is located right here. And what quick way can you tell someone where sulfur is? And so the way that the periodic table is organized is, is that it's numbered on the top over here. So here you see a series of numbers. And it actually is numbered on the side as well which you don't have on this periodic table, but you definitely want to include uh, in your periodic table, so through one through seven. So if you have sulfur, you can tell, oh, okay, it's uh, going up to 16. If you go down 16 and if you go across by three, you can find sulfur. So we give those terms names, of course. So groups are anything, any column that goes down. So this here is considered one group. This is considered also a group. This is group number one, and this is group number two. So 16 contains all of these, group 16 contains all of these elements. So the other term that we use are period. And period are, is the name for the rows. Let me put columns. So in this case, sulfur is in uh, the period three. Here's period three. You move across and you get to sulfur. All right. So how about I have you try to identify um, gold? Here is gold. So go ahead and say where you would find it, starting with group first and period next. So your answer should be that it is in group 11, period 6. And so when you move down group 11, move across period 6, you will find gold. So that's a quick way, an easy way of locating elements. So let me clear the screen. And now we're going to start identifying some of the elements that are grouped together because they have many of the same features. We have in the first group the alkali metals. Here are your alkali metals and these are all of your red ones. So in your on your periodic table I want you to choose a color and color in if you choose red all of the elements that are in this group right here, okay? Next to that, in group two, you have what we call the alkali earth metals. And these are all grouped together for many reasons, but one of them is that they react slightly with water to make a slight base. Um, and so we place, we call those all alkali earth metals. In our lab, we also worked with this area over here. Um, and the second to last row is some, are the elements that uh, can easily form salts. So we call them halogens. So these are considered the halogens. The last column, which are always inert, they were non-reactive from our um, from our cards, those we call the noble gases. All right, so so far we have the alkali earth metals, we have the alkali, um, excuse me, the alkali metals, the alkali earth metals, the halogens, noble gases, and in the center here we have what are called 
the transition metals. So, continuing on with that, having one more color change, we'll use yellow. This area right here is where you no longer have metals, but we have something that is called transitional metals. So everything to the left is considered a metal. Everything to the right is considered a non-metal. So we'll use a highlighter. The only exceptions are these here. These, make sure I get all the right ones, these right on this border that I made, these are considered metalloids or semi-metals, okay? So these here equal semi-metal. Right? So those are, are kind of a cross between metals and non-metals. They're a little bit in between. We also have the lanthanides and the actinides. So just to review again, anything to the left of this sort of staircase would be considered metals, except if I highlighted them when they're semi-metals, and everything to the right would be considered metals.